Hey, hey, welcome everybody. So tonight we are checking out Westby, Wisconsin, four-time map that was just released. So far, looking good. Made a few modifications to it, but overall, I'm liking it. Definitely one of the hilliest maps I've played so far. So, as the title said, we have it set up, and we'll probably go into flight mode real quick show everybody so we have it set up for 3,000 total Holstein can fit in these six barns pre-stalls then we have another barn down there that's gonna hold 490 beef we got Angus in there right now and then we have down over here in this barn this is where we'll keep the younger ones the calves the dry they get old enough to go up into there start producing milk but yeah we get the grain silo up here a couple hay barns bale barns commodity shed uh, down below we got ourselves another large shed from trailer park farms which will zoom right in nice little logo they put on there we have corn dryer and we have a smaller bga i believe it's the 60 kilowatts so, we'll be able to put that to use on the map. Let's see what we got for our first harvest season. So, we own all this, this across the road, this, and this. So, it's a fair amount to get us started. Uh, I did buy some silage already to feed the cows to give us a chance. But, we've got some oat. That will need harvesting. We got quite a bit of that. There's nothing in these two fields. It is what it is. But we got plenty of oat. Nice, quite a bit of oat. And corn. Those are pretty much what we'll be harvesting. And I thought I had, yes, there it is. Sorghum up here and some soybeans. So a little bit of traveling to do to get to those locations. But I think we'll be fine. And let me know if it sounds too much, too little. Not any trackers right now, but actually we should get this guy set up. Get out of flight mode. We need our harvester. Let me camp it down a little bit. So we got the 7250. This is the custom modding one that just was released, the FS22. I'm excited to use this. I've not used it in my other series, Shellbrook, yet. Gonna wear the farming simulator equipment tonight. We've got the Demco extension on this as well. That said, I think we want to go back across the road. be the best place to get this going and right now we are actually if you want to update on how much we have for Holstein I think we have first off Angus 60 I think there's another 60 fresh down below and then for the actual Holstein up in the main barns Six eighty maybe right now is what we're at. Not too bad for starting this today. Uh, I did add anhydrous ammonia to this map. You know how I love anhydrous. Always gotta have it. Uh, some of the equipment we have will drive by. We got Carl Farms, Road Tracks, Diger, looking good. We got the JCB Fast Track that just came out on Mod Hub. We went with the black. We have the Fent, Black Beauty. We got a Demco in there from custom modding. We got the Crown Rake, Hydra Tank. Uh, I believe 389 feeder belt there. And in here we have the Crown. And then we have my Blue Plains Dairy Trailer we're going to use for this one. Old 66,000 maybe. All right. So, 
I don't know what the traffic is here, but we're going to just pull this off to here for now. And get set up. Get this guy unfolded. I will say one thing. I was playing around in the hydros testing it earlier on this. And my uh, tank took right off down the road. So it is quite the hills on this. Hopefully this is even enough power to do it. I didn't want to really go bigger because the headers. Don't run on me. See, there it goes. It's already wanting to head off down the hill. Yep, yes. We're unfolding. Get this rolled down. get it started. Uh, we definitely want straw. So we're going to enable straw swath. And I think what we'll do is set this guy up to run for us on course play. So if we go in the course play menu, start top only. We don't even need that. Uh, should be no course. Perfect. Create a job. See how course play works on this map. I haven't heard of anybody that's used it yet on this map, so we're gonna give it a try. Pretty standard field besides the rolling hills, so it shouldn't be too bad. And here we go. Uh, let's do. Two headlands, or sorry, I want to do two headlands. There we go. Don't have my first. Let's be sharp. Hopefully, we won't have a lot of run over. Chop that down to eight. We'll do up and down. I think that'll be fine. Go here without skipping rows. Should be good. Generate that course. And that was quick. That was really quick. So let's look at what we got going on here though. It's that little patch that we're gonna have to till over. Doesn't detect that other one, which I think is still us. So we'll uh, get it going. I'll get this manually going forward. Not sure what the yield will be on this. Hey Trey, welcome. It's going. This is one of the hilliest maps I've played, I can tell you that much. So we'll run over here. I think I'm going to use the Steiger. Why is it doing that? It's like awkwardly lifted up on one side. There we go. Must have just been the way it was locked. So one of the things I've been seeing a lot of people say is, was it they think it's a conflict with the GPS mod, but they're losing the track of I have the GPS mod on in this game, and I am not seeing that issue. But I know a few others have reported they have it. I'm not really sure what's going on, but I can confirm I've not got it with the GPS mod. This. Grab the Peterbilt out there, set that up on the edge of the field, even though we may not even need it. Trey, what map are you playing tonight? See that there. We'll grab our Peterbilt. Probably start the engine. Yeah, there are a lot of the. I don't know if you want to call them washway fields. Where they just have the brakes in them so you don't have your crop run out on you during wet seasons, stuff like that, I think. Which with these hills, you get that erosion. But 
tested a few things on it earlier. Had a few things run away on me. So hopefully it doesn't keep happening. Yeah, I downloaded that actually earlier today. I haven't looked around on it a little bit, but I wanted to give this one a try. Maybe next week if I live stream, that'll be what I uh, try out. Definitely a large map I saw. I mean, the field's all pretty square, though. I know you like the square fields, but... That was the thing that kind of threw me off, and they just, I don't know, it just seemed too... I don't know the word to say it. It just wasn't... Like, it didn't have that feel of a farm to me. That Huron, Michigan. I mean, obviously you could add your production facilities and stuff in and make it that way. Uh, but I had a few that looked like they were missing. I know the one that starts you on, I had no buildings on that plot of land. I also started from scratch. I don't know if that mattered. It does make it easier. Kind of what I like a little bit about Shellbrook. I've opened up a lot of the fields where they're a little more square. I mean, there's still some indents here and there, but they're pretty square overall. See, he's still running. The course play does not detect that part right there. Which is what I was worried. There must be a field overlap or something. There's that whole section untouched. Maybe that's why though. Maybe with New Farmer it does that. I always, for some reason, always start from scratch. So first test to seeing how course play works on this is quite odd. Not really sure what it's doing. I will say one of the things I'm seeing with this map though is the rendering distance seems to be a little different. I mean on all the other maps I play I can see that crop over there clear as day. But I've noticed the circle was occasionally starting to come back here and there. I was testing it earlier. As long as you go fast, right? I wonder if Scorpion's got everything fully converted now to Scorpion speed. What is this guy doing? This is the weirdest harvest path I've ever seen. Now he's going to go all the way up. Interesting. Very interesting. Back up on me. We're going to head sharp on. Okay, I heard somebody else mention that, I think, in Argzy stream, stream earlier. What is that mod? They did see something about that prior.
the one I like is You know what? There might be a. Oh, it does look like that. Okay. There we go. Apparently, you can't look at that menu inside the Steiger. But this is the mod I enjoy. I thought this is a pretty cool addition. It's got some fine tuning it still needs to do, but overall, pretty cool. Uh, got two dry coins. But yeah. I like being able to get alerts now, like everything's in demand. Then you know. Thought I had just bought a round baler. I was like, oh no, be chasing bales all night. Gotta mow all this into silage. I am harvesting oats, Mike. On the hilliest map I have ever played on. I mean, that's not even the deep down part right there. You go on the other side of the hill, drops off again. I think further down, there's another drop off. Uh, that makes sense, Trey. I will say towards the end of FS19, I really got into playing Seasons. and FS22, I kind of like all the options with it. Worker. I don't know why. A little slow right now. See, I don't know why. That's still field 86 up here. They should be detecting it. We'll follow them. Should be almost full. The yield can't be that bad. I guess not. He's getting up there. What's been your favorite map so far, Trey? bit of a bowl and that hill climbs right up again. I do want to figure out why the rendering distance isn't as high as it should be. I think it's set to like 400% for me. I think we can keep this guy going. me I'd say it's Shellbrook. I don't know. I mean it's a simplified map and yeah it needs some work still here and there. But overall I really enjoyed that map and just the feel to it. It's not too hilly but it's got enough of a challenge to it. Fields are a mixed variety of sizes. Uh, 
Yeah, the mud ponds in the middle of them. Yeah, the 10 kilometer one was pretty good. Uh, and then I think Fusion the other day was playing the red, white, blue one as well, which I enjoyed that by PMC. Just a weird pattern that he cut into this. See, now he's going to go do a loop again. Oh my, that harvester is too big for these. I don't, uh, it has the flex header maybe. But, this one's about the same size header for it. Possibly, I think, 13.7. That's what that header is, but with a flex. Yeah, all these drainage markers. One in a cornfield somewhere I found earlier, but this is also ours. Ten acres. what it says the field is that's not right uh, maybe actually 43% yield not good ah, working speed that sounds about right I will have to add that because there's a few that I need to go a little bit faster than four miles per hour I said I'm gonna plow all this together after we get this harvest done. I need to actually buy a plow or cultivator. Just downloaded the one from Dinez Farming, the 870 Eco uh, Tiger. I think it's nine. Maybe nine disc. Probably could automate all of this, but what's the fun in that? Even though we could fail. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I imagine that would like slow down and bog down the tractor as well. The harvester. See right there, a little bit of horsepower. I don't have the enhanced vehicle on, but definitely pulled some horsepower right there. Go on, I'm going to shut this off. Run back across. Black Beauty. Where is it? There it is. I guess, you know, over here, let's go take a ride around. So each of these barns holds, these freestyle holds 500 head total. Uh, we got six of them, so eventually we'll have 3,000 Holstein. Yeah, and hydrous right there. So with that, like I said, 3,000 plus Holstein is what we're aiming for total. Uh, down here we have some Angus. I think we have about 60 or so right now. Maybe more. Maybe 120. We might have 120. And then as far as calves and dry stock we have down over here. We have another 120 or so. We'll be moving up to the barns when they're ready. Some 
equipment down there. We have our commodity shed, uh, bale barns, dryer or grain complex. Yeah, that's kind of what was happening with me the other day with using the X9. Like, it just wasn't flexing like it was supposed to. You got the shed from TPF, Trailer Park Farms. We got a corn dryer. We have our own little mini BGA now. That stuff going eventually. Pick up to grab the baler. You guys let me know if the audio is not fully good or if it is dialed in. It's been a while since I live streamed, uh, updated some things, and the other day when I gave it a test, it was all over the place. But I think I got it somewhat dialed in now. And if you guys can, don't forget to hit the like button if you're enjoying the stream. If you don't like it, please hit the dislike button. Doesn't matter to me. Helps me out either way. Let's get supposed to fold down nice and easy. Go. That way we don't have to clean up as much. We will need the straw. Have any of you found a good auto loader for bales yet if you're on PC or even I mean not an auto loader but there's a few in the game that sell that's pretty nice. Thank you, Trey. Thatcher's fighting a little bit. Thank you guys for the likes. I see them coming in now. Said so a little bit rusty. Had to use the intro video from FS19. Gonna have to make it FS22 intro. Yeah, we took out quite a loan. We owe five million in the loan right now for this farm. Once we get the dairy operation going full swing, we'll make it back no problem. Bales are interesting, Trey. Uh, well, if Mike's still in here, uh, he's been playing crossplay with me on Elm Creek and round bales. We've had no real issue. For the most part, they've been good. Uh, the, the physics thing that's thrown off the game is some of the pellets. It seems to always be the cake and flour. So those have uh, sent our forklifts flying at times on the multiplayer server. On um, Shellbrook, I think I did 200 something bales between the fields I had to for my first harvest on that, just because of the wheat. Barley, wheat, and I think we had a little bit of oat. There we go. My luck is that combine is going to come through and hit him, even though I don't think he knows where he's going. So like I said, quite the little the grade right here. Probably a little low on the mic, Zudis, because I'm not right next to it. I need to get one of the arms to bring it a little bit closer, but I gotta tune down just in case there's noises in the background at all. 
but same one I used last night then the test oh yeah we recovered we we're launching the side by sides and trucks yeah Trey I mix it up uh, sometimes dairy uh, sometimes go for the cash crops, the arable. Uh, other times, kind of mix it. Uh, in FS19, I kind of had a point where I was into the hog farming and stuff like that, but I haven't just got into it yet. It's almost a little too easy. Uh, the one we had set up on the multiplayer went pretty quick. So. But other than that, Dairy's actually been pretty good. I mean, having the robotic feeder helps. Uh, won't have it on this map, which will make it a little bit of a challenge. Uh, it does actually look like Gore Road. Uh, here. So the cows, we have different material, but you don't actually make as much of a TMR from what I'm seeing. Kind of a mix and match. I gotta actually look in how to set up the TMR for this. Because it wasn't really giving it to me when I was trying to make it. Like I said, we've got quite a few and those barns are from Cookie Creek. With the exception of that, my cow pasture, which is oh, I forgot who made that, but different things. Uh let's go down you got dry corn, dry your corn. I don't know why that's doubled up again. It keeps doing that. I think it's the the mod I have for the corn dryer. We got ammonia. Haven't added propane. That is fun too. Just go around and play maps and just do the contracts as you go. Build up your own little fleet in one of Trailer Park Farms' big shops. The 90 by 200, which is actually right ahead of us right now. Hey, well, this makes it a little bit easier to bail. I'm not having to go over and rake it first or. Tidy it up. Sure, still not full. Here we go, down the hill. See if we can clean up this mess down here real quick. Oh. Yeah, this rate doesn't really flex as much. Uh, it has dry ear corn tray. Uh, I ended up adding dry standard dry corn to it as well because there's a whole process I think with it from what I was reading. Haven't really explored it yet though. And I think they're about the same. But the dry ear corn on here seems to be slightly more rewarding price wise, which tells me that it probably has more involved for work on it. And like I said, I added and hydrous ammonia, my version of dry corn on it. Test it out. So now that I've learned how to do that with maps, made it a little bit easier. And like I said, they had some tie stalls over there on the farmyard I removed. And then tried to level out the area because it was kind of rough. And then put the barns in. Uh, it depends. So, you essentially just go into your fill types and the XML will change it there. And that's one way to do it. 
Uh, if you have the dryer and everything in it, it kind of makes it a little bit easier. Collision course. I am drinking a mixed beverage. I'll give you a hint. It's a whiskey. Um, and then anhydrous ammonia is kind of can be a little fidgety because you got to get different parts of it added to the game as well. But for the most part, you're going into fill types, uh, fruit types. We're getting one spot you have to go into, but you make those changes in the XML files and then add the mods accordingly. I should do a tutorial on that. The peanut butter one, Zudis, peanut butter. I went with the peanut butter one, Bird Dog. Which, if Bird Dog ever watches this, please think about sponsoring me. There you go, Trey. What kind of Irish stout you having? Now we're talking. We're just missing Scorpion in here with the barbecue talk. Yeah, and for the dryers, I mean, I think, uh, what's his name? Is it River, Rock River Bottom? Just put out a corn dryer. There was another one that I got on maybe King Mods, the one that I have in here. Weird that he's going to take that part of it at angle. Still not full. We can fill that bale shed pretty quick. Never heard of them. Are they in Nebraska area? Are they farther out on the west coast? Is he seriously going to come back down? He is. He has the weirdest path going on for this field. Definitely cannot wait to make this field all conjoined. Alright, we'll break that. Catch on this. There we go. Ah, that's, yes. That's why it, the name sounded like Breckenridge. It actually sounded familiar. Colorado. I've never had the beer, but now the location does ring a bell. A bird shadow flying over me. Looks like the harvester might get this whole field. Not had the steering wheel hooked up tonight. I wish I did. The left shifter on it for some reason is not working well. 
too much racing. Got to be close to full. Hopefully, you can finish this field. Just turned off cruise control. That's right, you're up in Utah now. How's the weather up there? We just got snow here in Maine yesterday. About eight inches, I think, in the end of it. Hang around. Be twenty something degrees today. All right. Looks like our worker is just about done. Oh, nitro. go all right got one field done not sure what oak goes for on this map but go unload this finish off our field I'm not even gonna drive down to the truck Yeah, that sounds like Maine and Vermont, the two states I've lived in. Other than San Diego, and San Diego was, if they got rain, it was maybe once every two years, and they acted like it was a snowstorm. What is the temp right now? 16 degrees here right now. Older than I thought. Oh, we're gonna knock that bale over. There we go. All right, let's get this guy. Uh, see, we ended up. I felt that was that way kind of last winter for us up here. And this year it seems to be semi consistent. Nothing crazy yet, but we still got a month left. I'm going to have to manually do this one because it's not detecting. Unless. I wonder if he'll detect that field. If I say target. Field position. Yes, there we go. That's what we like to see. Yes, two. Yeah, it'll be done in one pass. We'll get it going and then bump them and we'll be off. And we'll go finish bailing. Yeah, 
Yeah, last year for us stayed pretty dry up here, but then we'd get like these hard uh, rainstorms and they just flood out the valley. Probably should wait with this guy. Pop back a little more. Put him right down. What we need to do is go grab the JCB. There we go. I remember how to go to the store. Yeah, last night he was playing Minecraft with the kids that he wasn't able to get on, he said. We were finishing up our multiplayer on Elm Creek. We're going to find a different map now. I'm waiting for Mike to decide which one fits. We actually need to purchase a plow. All these fields need to be plowed. So this is what I was talking about today. The nine shank Jacolo Tiger 870. Okay, okay. 100 meters. 300 horse to run it though. But we can still pick it up for this. This is a rough though. Oh, seven concurrent viewers. Eight, oh, is he on a different field? I can't remember which way the store is. I think they'll take the left. What's weird is I have not seen any traffic. And I don't know if that's because I turned off traffic. Yeah, weeds on field on. Traffic on. No traffic. Yeah, he was in Arzy's live stream earlier for a while. Talking about it. And I kind of took a little... I mean, I recorded, played a little bit of multiplayer, but I haven't been playing it as much as I have been. I think I'm already at 400 hours now, today. That's what I might have finally hit. Yeah, Mike, it'll be some logging. Oh, I almost just drove right off that embankment. That would have been really bad. I didn't realize the store was this close. Picking up case equipment, John Deere. Anything good in here? Is it all boxes? No tractors? Boys? Oh, what's this? We got a graveyard. Mm -hmm. No tires. Beat up. Broken. Oh. One of the things I like to do with certain maps is just test it out to see if maybe they threw a real mod into the game. Nope. They didn't. Yeah, Mike, you're gonna have to do some logging. We're gonna have to get Nate on there. The shocks man. Get him on there with his chainsaw. It does. I've watched uh for Hobo Valley, I've watched the two reviews. Unfortunately, Mike's on PS5, so he can't play it because it's a four X map. But I was shocked they released that on console but then again they cut it down quite a bit from the first uh, review that Farmer Kleina did telling me my bit rate is way down right now on the stream but it's not the roads are a little rough 
They didn't look that rough in Kettering Spring the other day. I think the new patch update messed everything up. Yeah, Mike, it'll be a lot of opening up fields, getting farmland leveled. It'll be some serious work. Uh, Hobo Valley 2 trays. Everybody's used it on the farmersonly.com, which I thought was kind of funny. I want to see if this will work. I'm short horsepower by quite a bit. Oh, it's working. Barely, but it's working. Bet you it doesn't make it up the hill. Yeah, it's fighting. Oh, I got stones on. I want to turn those off. I'd rather go by line than deal with the stones and water. Tractor doesn't have enough strength. I'm spinning. No. Come on. I'm not going to make it up that hill. Definitely, yep, yeah, no. Let's pull you up. Don't attach. You are not going to work. Oh, he's almost done. No, he's just driving over the crop. What are you doing? Look how fast he's going. All right. Do I want to load manually or do I want to auto load bales? I thought I put the auto loaders on, but I don't think I did. Definitely did not put the auto loaders on. That was stupid. A little rusty, yeah, a little rustic feel to it. We're going to have to manually do it. Yeah, if my big bud wasn't so big, I would definitely do that. Do I want to? I hope this doesn't roll down the hill. Oh, we're spending the money fast. Hopefully we make a good return on it. A worker's on a mission. He's actually almost done that field already. What trucks have you been using, Trey? I know you usually mix it up with some of the big, tr the big trucks and toys. Lately, I don't know, FS-22, this might be the year of the Peterbilt for them. I've been finding a lot of good Peterbilts. There was a good Kenworth out there as well. Mike, you got OnStar on yours? When you drive your truck, Mike?
thought I was going to hit the sign. Just barely made it. Since this recent driver update, everything seems to be touch and go glitchy on the inside. Action. Oh boy. Oh boy. Best driver in the game right now. Oh, don't get hit by him. Oh, where do I want to put this? That's going to be the next problem. I want to put this where it's not going to get hit or tip over. So we want to go take a loop. Mike, how old is your truck? Like 90s? I didn't try to start it yet. Got that old beauty, the IMT. Can't remember how to get in my yard. There we go. Yeah, Trey, I was using, uh, there's a Chevy Bison from Expendables that get converted by them, or one of the people through Expendables. But I noticed you could not uh, remove the tarps on any of the trailers with it. There's just a weird, like, key binding issue with all the keys. So I moved on, and they said the Peterbelts by Expendables have been pretty good. Uh, I got that other one in the back, the three... I don't know, I want to say 326, 327 or something like that. The cab over. No, this is where I wish I had my steering wheel and my joystick set up because this would be a lot easier. Yeah, I don't know why I was doing it, but like my second episode on Shellbrook, it was just like killing me because I was getting mad thinking it was the trailers after I customized them. And then, nope, end up being the game itself or the truck itself. A 99 Detroit engine in it. Ooh. A little bit of horsepower, Mike. A little bit of horsepower. If I do this without making a mess. as I can. Problem is, I'm on a downslope. It's probably not going to help me. There we go. Question is, where's the harvester at? It doesn't look like he's done yet. Is he just not rendering? Okay, there he is. It's like, where the hell did he go? I 
That's right, I remember seeing your picture of that. I've been waiting for a good Tacoma to come out, but... There was a 4Runner that's pretty nice, but the Tacoma they had come out was not good. And there's a few private ones out there I've seen, but... At an hour stream. Got another hour in me. We got some work to do on the farm. We got plenty to drink. Ow. That is a lot of miles. I guess it, it's a truck, though. Uh, I did not think about that. Be decided I need to pick that one up after. Should be able to stack four and four, which we're not going to do until we put two and two. my long auto load trailer to come back. Yeah, the far runner's good and then uh an Audi eight that sheriff guy from like Romania just released the Audi eight that was pretty nice. Tried that out the other day. But I would like a Tacoma. I think right now Using maybe a GMC, older GMC, in the Shellbrook series. I can't remember because I rarely use it. A little different doing this with a mouse. Zudas, you should tell the collector to get in here. Waiting on his video to drop. Pushing polygons. It's a weird little hop that it does back. I gotta go empty the harvester. Not done. Yeah, I usually stay with the trucks, but for some reason that Audi, uh, Audi 8, I had to give it a try. A little too snappy for farm sim. Slides around a little bit. I'm waiting on the snowmobile from Iconic. He's still working on it, I think. He's done. This whole section he hasn't finished. Yeah, I saw you do that, Trey. That's actually something that's the area I grew up in. A lot of farmers end up doing that. That's not what you're supposed to do. Thought I had that turned off. It's not supposed to discharge it like that. Old section.
A few things in course play still don't listen. That's all it is. Okay, we'll finish this. And then we have a few more oats to do. So there's that section here. I might just go put them on 80. Uh, yeah, put them on 87. Or I might go manually do that section, finish that up, then go put them on 87 on the edge. Yeah, because Trey, you've been using uh, tired iron, tired iron moddings. Uh, what are those called? The Kill Bros, right? For the green carts. Classic green cart. I've been using those for a while on one of my series. Playing around, maybe. Maybe a Greystone. And Trey, the other thing, I don't know if you knew on this map, but they have the green growth stage. So when you get to the final green stage, like sorghum, maybe oats and wheat, you can actually turn it into silage. Pretty cool little feature with this. Starting to see farmers make that a thing again. Correctly, I own this grass meadow as well. Like I said, we're gonna turn all that into silage, I think. Maybe a little bit of hay. But we need silage pretty bad for all the Holsteins. Like I said, I think 680 or so right now are old enough. They're milking. And then another 120 or so. so almost 800 already. Spent some good money on them. And we'll just keep cycling them down to the, the heifer barn. This is a weird little, like, truck. That guy's already plowed his whole field. So when I started the game today, that was corn? Which is kind of weird because we haven't done the corn, or corn hasn't been able to be harvested yet. I think this guy can literally be a hired worker for now. Line them up. That's the other one. Do you remember what the end game price of that was? For the seed? Oh, death. Why is he turning down? No. We need, while we're waiting, we're going to grab some more bales. Get most of the stuff off the hillside. That's why I don't like the mouse. Probably better turn the controller on.
can get a swivel. Oh, that's not too bad then. I don't remember if that one was the one that was way overpriced. I think it's the giant cedar wagon that's overpriced. Pay like thirty five thousand for something that holds six thousand seeds. Looking a little bit on the hill. The harvester is still going. He's got a mine of his own today. Oh, two bells over there. Did it again. I just bring that one straight to the barn, right next to it. Oh, 100k. Did you leave the mass the same or did you adjust the mass? I actually saw one the other day that got adjusted and they uh, thought they were turning up the capacity and they turned up the mass and they couldn't figure out why their trailer went full. Probably should end up. Right. Gonna strap these down and then start. And that's why. Come on. Sliding on the hillside. There we go. There we go. Probably gonna regret doing this, but hey, tactical farmer, what's going on? Before I live stream, I was looking to see if you were on. I didn't see you on tonight. I think you were on last night, though. That's correct. There's almost done. Yo, I wonder if we left anything at the end of the field. Does it look like it? Yeah, Trey, I forgot who it was the other day in one of the discords. They, they were mad because they upped their capacity, or they thought they upped their capacity to, uh, what was it? Maybe 80,000? And they couldn't figure out why their trailer was bogged down and didn't move. Ah, nice. That's right. You, I noticed that the other day. I thought yours was a, a live replay. Butch has been doing live replays a lot lately. Or wine streams, they call them. I thought maybe you were doing that, but that's right. You were live. In the morning. Has it been pretty good? Up in there now and then. It looks like you're usually getting a pretty good crowd in there. Too busy in the mornings lately. Okay. Here. I think, yes, Trey, I think that's one of the things they were trying to explain to the guy, and he just did not want to listen. He just wanted his trailer not to be heavy, but he wanted all the capacity in the world. They get motivated when they see DJ playing. Right, let's 
this course, go to this course, do a job. I got field work again. But I actually already detected it, but we're gonna still make it two multis. Force play has been so fast on this map. I like it. I like it a lot how fast course play is picking up the courses. I mean these are small fields compared to what I've been playing on Shellbrook, but there we go. That's impressive, man. That's a solid number. I don't even have that many. I, I got a couple of videos that maybe hit that for views, but no, that's solid. I mean, you've been doing, putting in some serious work in your live streams and your content. Like I said, the community notices. You see it. If you guys haven't, anybody that's in here, go check out the Tactical Farmer. See you. Trey, you should be a moderator now. I don't know why I didn't have you as a moderator before. But... Oh, there. He's good for now. Back to the... Do that key. Let's do this. Fail this field up if we're at it. I'm tattered. What's the longest live stream you've done? I did. I pushed it to the limit one day. I think we got nine hours for my sub the subathon. Thank you. It is a grind. I have parts of the year that just get too busy where I can't really take much time to put quality in a video. So if I can't put the quality in, I just kind of back off for a little bit. But I enjoy making the content, enjoy playing the game. That's the important thing. There's not many games you can find that are this chill and you can still feel like you've accomplished something in the game. I didn't even really. I was looking at the screen and reading. We get both rows here. Five likes, and I wasn't expecting to see maybe one or two people in here tonight. I did this last minute. I decided to get bored and was like, yeah. Well, Trey, that was the Nebraska lands one on FS19, I think. We harvested, what was it, three quarters of the mat? I had the... Four harvesters? Four harvesters per field? That was insane. Yeah, it's up and down. I mean, one of my problems is in the summer, I'm a heavy golfer, so once golf season comes around, I try to get outdoors, but yeah, during usually the winter. And I mean, that's why I've been putting out two videos a day. I just try to keep it somewhat consistent. But two a week, I should say, not a day. There's some people that are, seem to be doing that, though, putting out like two, three videos a day every other day, which is impressive. I need to reset up OBS. It's been so long since I've live streamed. I think the last time might have been October? Go. A knockout. Oh, actually, there's a good view of how much these fields dip and roll. Definitely got to go up on the horsepower. 
as we learned that JCB could not pull that plow. I'm trying to think that recently, Trey, somebody did. It was, uh, it might have been Farmer Klein that did something. That's right, you do TikToks. I remember you saying something about that. Tactical. I just haven't got into the TikTok world. I get friends that send me links now and then, but it opens them up in Instagram, I think. Clean that up and pretty much not bouncing again. The custom modding harvester, even though that's a 7250, it's making pretty good time on these fields. It's also weird not having the sim dashboard up in front of me either. I keep hitting the wrong button. Alright, one more loop. Then we'll jump back over. The harvest will probably have to be emptied. Excuse me. A whiskey burp a little Pepsi in it tonight. Yeah, I bet. Uh, see things now and then just randomly pop up on YouTube for like trending. And that seems to be one of the things people talk about is how it's hard to convert over from different media platforms. The easiest one I think people were saying was Facebook to Twitch. Or vice versa, which seemed odd to me. I mean, t at least in the gaming world, Facebook has its own gaming platform now. So it's not like they need like a Twitch or a YouTube. I'm actually shocked how many people uh, stream farming sim on Twitch. It'll be interesting with YouTube's new uh, system coming out for its search. So you can now just kind of go into like Twitch where if you're looking for Farming Simulator, it'll pull up everybody playing Farming Simulator now. So it'll be kind of intrigued to see how that works out for them with their search engine. And Whoa, power slide down the hill. It's like last night taking jumps, sliding all over like Mike was. Just want to put the stream buttons on here it's like hydrate i think that's one of the best things people can put on their streams yeah i agree but you've already got like you said you've got your you have a structure a base a following going on tiktok so you can kind of work with it stay with it i just found it fascinating that it was I mean, Facebook obviously has a wide connection for social media, but it was just weird that they reference them with Twitch. Because it seems like Twitch kind of keeps to itself and avoids anybody in the gaming world. The other thing I found crazy the other day is, so Twitch is not just people like doing chats or uh, games and stuff like that. People like making food. I didn't realize that was such a common thing right now, of people getting on, uh, showing you how to make a certain recipe, and that is what they do. 
Well, there you go, Trey. I knew at some point tonight I was going to get locked into a food talk without even thinking about it. What's going on? My bailer just, just completely missed that. I thought I had the bailing twine on. It's like, oh, that's great. Ran out of bailing twine. And yeah, tactical. I mean, I think originally it was uh, Facebook referred you to YouTube and they had like a partner thing going on. All right, Trey, have a good night, man. Thanks for stopping in and supporting the channel and having a chit chat. Appreciate it, as always. I'll probably chat with you tomorrow on Discord anyway. seen the harvester come around yet definitely got to figure out why they're under distance even at 400 percent is looking like that i think the harvester is full or he's caught in the corner or he can't get up this hill oh i see him yeah he's full We'll get right over the hill. Doesn't look that way. Looks like that's gonna be a tight little spot to unload in. Yeah, like right now the clip and render are just too close. not to tip this on the hill. Probably should have been on the other side. I think I own the meadow down here too, but not fully sure. I think I had to the edge of the map, which is right there. them go I mean this is steep a good thing we got the 600 horsepower right now I agree so I I follow two accounts on Twitch for farm sim stuff and I mean they look they enjoy it but I feel like so many times the interactions they're getting aren't anything like you see in the, the farm sim YouTube streams like a lot of times it's just random people jumping in screaming raid and then just disappearing and I don't know how that works for those that either boosts their channel or doesn't boost their channel I mean, Twitch definitely has like more little tools to use in your streams, but yeah. try to hold the hill right here. Yeah, like. I mean, to me, YouTube just fits it because it's just very chill, very relaxed, or 
or you want to learn something, there's always like a tutorial aspect or a learning aspect to the game. And that's what I kind of enjoy the most out of it. But yeah, the one lately I've been watching, I think her name is Ginger Dingus. She gets rated a lot, it seems, but they don't ever seem to like stick around. And I feel like if somebody joins your your Twitch stream and then leaves, I would assume it kind of has like a negative effect if they show up and leave not long after. And it's nothing that she does. I mean, she does great stuff. She's pretty funny to watch. Keep missing bait or straw. We're gonna have plenty of straw bales. I wonder if they fixed the glitch where if you had too many bales on the map, you'd have them show up in the store. Push these out. Go. And this one will wait down below the hill. He's going to struggle. Go up and load more bales. One there. Let's go grab. That is true. And the other thing, I didn't realize this, with Twitch you have to like wait before you can share any of your content anywhere else. I thought it was only if you're like affiliated, but from what I was reading the other day when I was looking more into it, you're not allowed to share for like two weeks on other content or on other media sources or platforms. I thought that was kind of weird. Love this little in the hall. Well, I'm going to see what one of my shows is still on tonight. I know the new Vikings Valhalla is on Netflix, I think, now. I think I got the email today for that. Probably check that show out later. So used to the joystick. I'm just waiting for the moment where I get the throttle stuck. Well, luckily, nobody can clip it. So you can multi-stream. Okay. Yeah, I knew the affiliate had a bunch of weird rules, and everything I read and seen says it's not worth it. I mean, even some of the big gamers have said it's not worth it being a Twitch affiliate. Definitely need the auto load bail trailer soon. I'm a long one. I thought I found one with Demco. I actually need to look at. I think Loki's mod for auto load is only for pallets, so I should probably look at that. Actually, before we make a mess.
don't need these falling off. Down. I think for next week, I'm definitely gonna come on. Definitely gonna put in and put the joystick and steering wheel back on. Even if the left shifter doesn't work. Uh pretty good. I think unfortunately some of the buildings with that new patch get hit. Ramble the buildings a little bit. Nothing of the modders doing. I think it's just the patch. But overall, I mean, it's good. I, uh, actually, while we're waiting, we'll go for a little fly around. Me? So I made some modifications myself. I added anhydrous ammonia, another version of dry corn, and yeah, so I took over this large area, switched the barns out. So still six barns. These hold 500 apiece. So 3,000 total Holsteins between these. I uh, added the grain bin, the hay barns, the commodity shed, I think Lazy E in Western Iowa. Edits. Uh, added this from Mod Hub for the Angus beef. Got about 120 of those. Then uh, Crooked Creek's monoslope. Added this for the dry cows, heifers. Got about 120 in there. And yeah, I mean, other than that, though, it's kind of a similar setup. It was a little, the pathway was a little rough. And that's why I kind of took those barns out, leveled it, and reset it. Uh, Corn dryer for my corn, VGA. But other than that, I mean, pretty good map overall. There's the traffic, but there's so many, there's so many farms. I mean, that's the one thing that like, MB farming, tired iron. Uh, I'm trying to think who else is involved. With it. Just so many farms, and just every farm has its own little detail to it. Like right there. Oh. There we go. Just froze for a second. Definitely gonna have to play with the rendering. But yeah, and I mean, as you can see, it's just hill on hill. But right there, farm, farm. I think there's one more over here. Another one out there. Uh, that's a cell cell point way out there. Another farm there. Uh, farm, 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 cell point. Farm way out on the horizon. I think there's nine farms total. So quite a bit. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I looked at Southern Louisiana. I helped somebody out that was having issues with course play on it. So before I told them that course play worked on it, I wanted to make sure that it did actually work for that field. That was, uh, Good job with that map. I know he had just started last year, maybe making maps with MRG. Louisiana Modding did a great job on it. I like the an FS19. I'm trying to think of the modder's name, CL Modding maybe came out with a Louisiana map as well that I played at the end. It was pretty fun. Westby, what makes it? Why I decided to stream it, it's, it's just the size. I mean, it's small fields. Realistic size fields, I guess we could say, for this kind of area. But then you just have the potential to do so much to it. Uh, we'll go into the, show you the different. This is what I like. So they added, I mean, I added in hydrous ammonia, different dry hydro corn, but they have ear corn, fermented corn meal, 
uh, dry ear corn. I added, this is from my Shellbrook folder, so I've got the dirt, the whiskey, vodka, the rum, ketchup, the mayo already added. Uh, where's, uh, you can double, double crop soybeans. Where are they? So you see they have a long extended period, so you can double crop them, which is nice. So you've seen that done quite a bit. And what was the other thing they added to this? Apparently there's Sasquatch somewhere, so I haven't found them yet. Yeah, I don't know how to do rice. So even when I was doing the Cajun dairy farm, I didn't really touch rice and FS-19 on a, that Louisiana map for that same reason I just didn't know how to like how to do it correctly finally got a decent scoop up I'm actually excited, and this most people probably aren't too excited for potato work, but I'm excited for uh, Days came out with a mod, or working on it, getting it out is the potato sorter, premium, bad potatoes, average potato. I think that gives a little more purpose to doing potatoes, so I'm kind of excited for that to come out when it's ready. It's looked good on uh, the Farm Some Guys streams lately. Might make the money value behind it a little more worth it. Harvesting potatoes that have value. That's making the light work of it over there. Crazy, it's already been almost uh, another 15 minutes, it'll be two hours. That's crazy. I got nothing to do. I'm just bored. Figured might as well stream. And if people want to watch me farm Westby, we try to get this up to 3,000 head herd. I was just going to say that they had a lot of fences. Yeah, I don't think uh, Bucks County will be making it. I know TNT stepped away from modding, and I don't know if anybody's getting permission or if because of the situation why TNT stepped away, if anybody will try to make Bucks County or convert it. Delta Junction. I mean, I think it... With that coming out late, you think it would be converted over. Trying to think of the other one that came out right at the end that I played a lot of uh, Susquehanna River Valley from New York. I enjoyed that map a lot by Nitro Dad. But I think he's working on a different map already, if I saw it correctly, in the Authentic Mods Discord. It'll be interesting to see what he comes out with because he always seems to do a pretty pretty large map that's a game changing map.
mean, it, Bucks County would definitely be a great FS22 map because it fits on console. And right now, I mean, you probably see all the posts. Everybody's always asking, is it coming to console? Is this coming to console? It's more than ever, it seems. But Bucks County would make a good one for the console crowd. on this field. I have to go and load this cart. Yes, I am. Come on. And this is what makes this map a challenge the hills. I mean, this is a 600 horse tracker fighting. Probably shouldn't have turned that up already, but you know, that's funny because literally that's what I've been getting for like strange comments is what I call them because the person's like user unknown or something like that and then they'll make that comment. Is it coming to console? Excuse me. I just, I mean, I get there's more other games to play on console. I wouldn't say more games. Because I've learned after switching to PC a couple years ago that there's just an endless possibility of games you can play. But I would just rather have all these mods and these maps through the PC world. I think a lot of these kids will probably switch over eventually. I say kids, but there's some adults out there. Console only. I mean, Giants is trying to make it better, but there's just so many limitations, I think, with the actual console companies like Sony and Microsoft. And we might have to go make a run. See if that pewter belt will be able to pull that. Oh, do I want to do this or not? Does that work? Alright. See if the pewter belt can get off that hillside. Those are our challenge of the night. Pulling green away. Oh, I have an auto drive even though I haven't used it yet. I need to set a course up on this. And that's the thing, I mean, I paid a good amount for mine, but that was the thing, was there's just so much more you can do on a PC. I mean, I play on emulators, I play games from Nintendo, Sega, and I play even somewhat new games, PS3, some PS4 games now. And then obviously you have all the other games, a lot of games are going crossplay too, and that's to me, that's the bigger thing, too, is a lot of games are going crossplay, so might as well be on the better system. Oh, I went the wrong way. I want to go up the hill. I'm making my life harder. Front, right? Uh, I don't want to go up this hill. I only want to come down it. I made it. Go, unload the hopes. Oh, 
Farmer Taz in here. Or, ugh, why did I just say Farmer Taz? I can't believe I just did that. Uh, let me go. Yeah, I already got jumped on. Just for you, buddy. You were the motivation. Sorry if you guys lost sound for a second. I need to change that sound. Scorpion, I don't know if you like this field. It really limits your speed with these hills. It slows you down a bit. I can't believe I did that. Good thing you can't clip it. Actually, we'll just say we took that from FSG's book. Drive through the Holstein yard. had manure in the middle of nowhere. That's not good. Gonna have to put something over there. Oh yeah, I had to make it official for you, Scorp. I thought you already were, but maybe I just went on. So we found out you need a high horsepower to pull that plow, even though it's only 300 horsepower with these hills. Go. Set this down. Very hilly, Scorp. Give you an idea. And like I said, that plow, I'm gonna have to probably, even though it's a 300 horsepower plow, I'm probably gonna have to grab that tractor there to do it. But nice map overall. Like I said, uh, earlier I changed the, the farm layout around a little bit, changed the dairy barns, and then I ended up uh, adding Ammo uh, anhydrous ammonia, dry corn, even though they have dry ear corn in it. That's what Trey was saying. Trey was in here earlier and he was saying that we need the more horse, less mass, turn it to faults. I saw tackle. He had that and a roller. I think there's a roller that as a two only needs like fifty horsepower and covers like forty meters. It has nothing to show, unfortunately. It's still all, I've been, uh, what's the word to describe? So you get a project going and then somebody comes out and has a more accurate, more simplified way of doing things like roads, stuff like that. So once I can get like some buildings onto it and the roads officially laid down with Blender, I will show you guys some screenshots, but right now not much to it. I start putting the roads down a certain way and then, like I said, somebody comes out and hey, do this or hey, paint this. Uh, PMC Snake Man's been a huge help. 
but it's at least maybe by next fall. Because I know in the summer I'll be golfing and getting busy with soccer. Whoops. I think I'd be able to stack four high on this. Then obviously the testing. But now right now it's just some roads. I stripped up some. Uh, the issue I'm having. It's just the field layouts. For some reason, my fields keep detecting further than what they're supposed to. So I don't want to get like too far with like buildings and everything else, and then have it conflict with hitting the AI on the fields. But I was able to help Fusion the other day. Fusion took on quite the project. Yeah, it does, Scorpion. It literally. It goes in like a, a dead period of time, and then all of a sudden it just takes off. Luckily right now, I mean, now they can golf because of this weather, but we've got about eight inches of snow here, so. Get the plan. But RZ, where my map is, I don't think you're going to have anybody else with a map there. Even though on American Truck Sim, they just came out with a Vermont map. But it's going to be in the northern Vermont area. Oh, and the other thing I've had issues with is getting like a quality dem. It just doesn't really show up. My custom modding is doing pretty good work on those hills. About 7250. I think it's like 500 horse. Would you play any Minecraft? Trey said you're watching a movie, but what movie, by the way? That would be my other question. What movie was Scorp watching? I need ideas. I watched the new Kingsman the other night. Didn't impress me. Without the joystick, I get the worst camera angles using the mouse right now. Maybe it would be slightly better with a controller. Vampire movie. Hmm. Yeah, I know on Netflix right now they just came out with that runoff series of Vikings, Vikings Valhalla. So I might check that out after the stream, watch an episode or two. I watched 1883, Yellowstone. I've gone through all those seasons. Oh, well, Yellowstone gone through all the seasons. Oh, no, there it goes. Well, I knew it was going to happen. We've done so good tonight without knocking over a bale. Now all of a sudden, this thing's got the wobbles. Just too high up. Maybe I'll push that one. Huh? Ooh, not that one. Oh, I 
that's why. I see why it's getting stuck, you know? My girlfriend watches Bones over and over and over and over. I think she's seen every episode maybe ten times. Clean this up. Love how the bail does not fall off. Oh, I watched that too, RZ. I, I'm not going to ruin it for you, but I don't know. The Mandalorian set the bar, uh, the bar pretty high. That's all I'm going to say. That was just my opinion on it. I thought the bar was set extremely high. you do it. Don't you get jammed. Alright, we're definitely fixing that. They are. They just float up magically. Uh, you know what? He's almost done harvesting. We'll grab two more bales. We just hit the two hour active window, so we'll go look at custom modding harvester. Which has done amazing on these fields. Argy, do they have on the farmers only, do they have auto load trailers and bales? Or do you have to do everything with a pallet? I know you had GPS. I'm just curious if you had to do everything manually as far as loading bales and pallets. So he's going to force you to be skilled again. If they do require you to do that. I've been playing on a crossplay server with a friend and definitely got better at handling bales and pallets even though I usually use the joystick but I don't have plugged in right now not too shabby You don't see where the harvest is at. Yeah, hopefully. I mean. Hey, Tactical, thanks for stopping in and chatting, and thanks for supporting the stream. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch you this week when you're in yours. Uh oh. This is the third time in the last two weeks this has happened to me. I think I literally told you, Argzy, that like, this just keeps happening. I don't have a... Sorry, Margaret. I cheated. I cheated. I don't have a fuel trailer. I could easily buy one, I guess, but 
Man, it's happened twice in Shellbrook, and now it's happened on this map. What are you getting a bail trail out of here? See if we can do it without hitting. Got it. There we go. Becoming a great driver. Man, I cannot believe I ran out of fuel again. I really need to start paying attention to that. Now that it's a much more real consumption. But I think overall that puts us over two hours. I think I'll shut this one down. Look at what we have. I want to plow all this together to make that a legit field 86. These are already empty and plowed. You gotta harvest that. Harvest that. Harvest that. These aren't ready. Uh, are those ready? So one of them is. Sorghum. Yep, sorghum's ready. Soybean's not. I agree. It's been uh, playing on Shellbrook. I've noticed the fuel prices are pretty high. I don't know if Camille did that on purpose. Actually, let's write it down. I want to find a way to change the game where it updates the realistic if you connect to it online. Here I am talking about fuel and then leaving everything running. So yeah, as you guys can see, I don't know if there's anything else you guys want to see on this, but I think other than that, I'm going to call it a night. Hey, RZ, thanks for stopping in, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support and the good banter, as always. But yeah, everybody, I think that's going to do it for me. You know, unless there's anything you guys want to see, I'm going to try to set up another stream either next Friday or Saturday night. Do the same map because we've got a lot of work to do. We've got a lot of cows to take care of on our farm. So, thank you all for stopping in, hitting the like button, supporting the channel, sharing it with friends. I appreciate it. Like I said, didn't plan this till the last minute. And it turned out to be pretty fun. So, have a good night, everybody. Take care.